Good evening, I'm Peter Moverton. Tonight's story, fighting fit, fighting fat. Australia is unexpectedly leading the way as heavyweight champions of the world. Funnily enough, it isn't in sport, nor is it in science. It's in Australia's dramatic rise to being crowned the most obese nation, arguably, behind the notoriously supersized Americans. Tonight, we'll be focusing on the debate that your surrounding environment dramatically affects your vulnerability and susceptibility to becoming obese in your adolescence. Tonight's story will follow two individuals growing up in two different contrasting environments. Joel, a 17 year old male whose upbringing is on a five acre rural property northwest of Sydney. And Daniel, a 17 year old male brought up in Sydney CBD. They'll both be contrasted based on the nature of the environments they've both been brought up in in relation to the likelihood of them both becoming another statistic in the fight against obesity. Joe, what does the word obesity mean to you? Well, the word obesity has never really been in my vocabulary, fortunately. Growing up active, obesity has never had the chance to infiltrate into my environment. From day-to-day -day chores to lifestyle in general, Physical activity dominates the fundamentals of living on five acres. I do feel for kids who have had the opportunity I've had of enjoying physically active upbringing. Research is continually stating that the proportion of overweight or obese children in Australia is increasing at an accelerating rate since the 1980s. The Australian Bureau of Statistics tells us aerobic fitness is decreasing about 4% each year and children are getting less aerobic exercise. Does this alarm you, Daniel? Uh, I guess it does. If the television isn't telling me I'm overweight, then it's my wee fit saying that I'm not in the obese category. I even play it on easy mode. Many research professionals debate daily on the topic of obesity and how the individual's environment directly affects them. Steve Hogan, a PE teacher and child psychologist, believes he has a fair idea of how the environment can lead to obesity. We're at war, Peter and we're just not winning. Obviously, obesity, the enemy, is growing more powerful every day. Here, we take a look at Daniel. Daniel, can you cut the grass, please? All done. He lives in a technology-dominated environment. Kicking a soccer ball is easier on an Xbox. Lovely, Rudy. Where socialising is now dominated by online contact. The fact is, Peter, our children sit immobile for hours upon hours watching television and playing Xbox. They just simply neglect to exercise. So tell me, what's a normal day for you on five acres? Well, today I cut the grass. Should only take me an hour. I also practice for my soccer semi-finals. That'll make Wayne Rooney jealous. And I... Uh, I had a few friends around to socialise. Hey, 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 you can't see this. Hey, how's the wrestling going? You ready to train? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. An estimated 1.5 million people under the age of 18 are considered overweight and obese. This means about 20 to 25% of Australian children are overweight. Alarming, isn't it? I mean, you only have to read Australian's guideline to physical activity to realise how far behind the rest of the world we've become. Children and young people should participate in at least 60 minutes per day and even up to several hours of moderate to vigorous physical activity every day. So tell me, how many minutes do you spend each day being physically active? Well, my, my mum tells me to walk the dog every day because she says it's getting fat, but I guess like 15 minutes. 218 minutes. <laughs> A lot more than they recommend. Children and young people shouldn't spend more than two hours a day using electronic media for entertainment. That is, computer games, internet, television, particularly during daylight hours. Yes, I'd be glad to see Daniel off the computer for more than two minutes. But it won't happen. The job. How long do you spend inside on the computer each day? About 10 minutes. Don't want to get square eyes, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> so what you can see from statistics like this, 
that being overweight or obese as a child is increasing. A lot must be done to reverse childhood obesity in Australia and worldwide. So what's the quick fix? What's the herbal remedy? What is going to help us cure this obesity that is striking down our society? Simple. Send Daniel to live with Joel. Take a person in a poisoned environment and put him in a positive environment. Don't want to go! This program, based on new policy recommendations, focuses on thinking of movement as an opportunity, not an inconvenience, to be active every day in as many ways as possible. Yeah, Daniel really love it out here. So Joel, I hear another policy you apply is that each day you put together one hour of moderate exercise to promote improved fitness. Combine that one hour with healthy eating and Daniel will be shaping up in no time. Sounds great. Good work. Work. You look good. And I feel good too.